Hello everyone! Today we have a review of Unity UT526 Insulation Voltage and RCD Tester. You may use this device for measuring insulation resistance, voltage, low resistances up to 2 kilo ohms, and residual current device testing. You get the tester in a carrying bag like the one you see. Apart from the tester itself, there is a set of probes, a hand strap, and a user manual. Measuring probe set consists of probes for residual current device testing and probes for measuring resistance and voltage. And you may attach these alligators clips to them. The tester itself is rather small, the front panel is protected with a plastic cover, there are controls and a display under it. Here is a battery compartment on the back panel. You may simply take off the cover and attach it here, so you won't lose it. And here you pull through the strap. So, this is the front panel, measuring probe connectors, a display, a rotor switch for measuring function selection, a test start button and functional buttons. Let's have a closer look at the functions. First position is for measuring low resistance up to 2 kilo ohms. Here you go, test voltage is almost 5 volts. Next position is multifunctional. It's for residual current device testing or a voltmeter. Next, we have three ranges of measuring insulation resistance. Test voltages 250, 500 and 1000 volts. Let's demonstrate the insulation resistance measuring and RCD testing. We start with measuring insulation resistance of this cable from the package. We use a test voltage of 1000 volts. So, let's start. As you may see, we have a test voltage of 999 volts and insulation resistance over 500 mega ohms. That means the cable insulation is in perfect condition. And the most interesting thing – checking the residual current device. To demonstrate this feature, I have made such a simple circuit with an automatic circuit breaker with RCD. And let's test its operability with UT526 tester. I've already connected everything. The circuit breaker is connected to the power line and its output is connected through the socket to the meter. So, we may start checking the RCD. You should switch on the circuit breaker. Here I need to say that you may conduct a primary RCD test very simply. All the breakers have a test button. You just press the button and the breaker switches off. So, the protection must be working. But keep in mind that this method tests the RCD module only, but we cannot test the devices for correct installation. For example, we won't know whether all the sockets in this room are connected to the circuit breaker correctly. You can find it out only using this tester with this probe. So, I switched on the circuit breaker, the tester is connected, now I choose the RCD test module. Here the tester gives us several options – voltage test of 10 mA, 30 mA, 100 and 300 mA. We may see the response time at once. This circuit breaker should switch off at 30 mA. So I choose this mode for testing. I press the test button and we can see the device works. The response time is 9 ms and the maximum is 500 ms. I conclude that the RCD works great. Let's check it at different values. For example, at 100 mA it worked, fine. Now let's try 300 mA. Works as well, perfect. Now I'll also try 10 mA, but it shouldn't work, because as you remember, here we have a minimum current of 30 mA. The tester shows response time more than 2 seconds. That was a brief review of the basic features of Unity UT526 Electricity Network Tester. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to our channel. You may also watch more our videos you now see on the screen. Good luck!